Yes, now starting with eighth one, it says find the amount in compound interest on rupees ten thousand for one and a half years at ten percent per annum. Compound it half yearly. So, how much calculation? Karne? Half yearly ke ke calculation. Karne. Principal up to the over is ten thousand. Rate up to the over is ten percent. And they are saying compounded half yearly. That means you have to divide the rate with two. So, five percent of it. Time, time कितना आपका one and a half years. अब half yearly का case है तो इसमें तो कोई पंगा नहीं होता कि आपको मतलब one को अलग तरीके से निकालने और half को अलग तरीके से निकालने. One and a half year को आप कैसे convert करोगे? Three by two. और half yearly की क्या calculation होती है? It is multiplied with two. Two and two will be cancelled. So what value you are getting is three half yearly. एंड पता चल गया आपको अब हमें अमाउंट निकालना होगा अमाउंट इज प्रिंसिपल वन प्लस आर ओवर हंड्रेड रेस टू बार एंड प्रिंसिपल इज टेन थाउजेंड इन टू वन एज इट इज रेट इज फाइव ओवर हंड्रेड रेस टू बार एन एन कितना आपको थ्री सो यू यू गेट टेन थाउजेंड इन टू हंड्रेड फाइव ओवर हंड्रेड क्यू बन है इसका मतलब क्या हो गया इट विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड थ्राइज Now what you can do is you can cancel two zeros with two zeros. So you are getting hundred five and hundred now. We can cancel both of them. This would be twenty one. This would be twenty, and this will be by five again. So this will be twenty one, and this will be four. So what value you will get is in decimal, because you have hundred five into twenty one into twenty one, and in denominator you have four. So if you divide both of them. The value you will get is eleven thousand five seventy six point two five. So this is the required amount. Now what I can do is I can find the compound interest of the value. So it will be one one five seven six point two five minus ten thousand. So the value you get you get is one five seven six point two five rupees. So this is the compound interest. You get as uh, when it is compounded half yearly. Half yearly के लिए calculation ये होती है आपकी और annually के लिए calculation अलग होगी obviously तो interest भी उसका अलग होगा. Second case में देखते हैं कि क्या आते हैं हमारी value. So in compounded annually principal is given as ten thousand, rate is given as ten percent. And time is given as one and a half years. तो अब सबसे पहले तो आपने ये ध्यान रखना है कि यहाँ पे calculation अलग अलग तरीके से होगी because it is a mixed fraction. और हमें करना ये compounded and will. So one will be uh, used with the help of compound interest. Half year will be with the help of simple interest. So the value for amount is principal one plus r over hundred raised to power एंड प्रिंसिपल कितना आपका टेन थाउजेंड वन एज इट इज आर की वैल्यू टेन हो गई डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड रेस टू पर एन एन कितना हो जाएगा यहाँ पे आपका वन सो टेन थाउजेंड इन टू वन हंड्रेड टेन ओवर हंड्रेड सो यस यू कैन कैंसिल टू जीरोस विद टू जीरोस सो यू गेट हंड्रेड इंटू वन टेन हंड्रेड इंटू वन टेन एस इलेवन थाउजेंड सो दिस इज द अमाउंट यू आर गेटिंग Which is eleven thousand rupees. Now, what we will do is we will find the interest for this one. So now, first of all, yeah, let's find interest over it. So eleven thousand minus ten thousand. It is interest of one thousand rupees. Now, what we have to do is we have to calculate for half years. So simple interest nikalega na p into r into t over Hundred. So principal in this case will be uh, will be the amount we have. That is eleven thousand into R. R कितना हो गया? Then T कितना हो गया आपका? Half and dividing with with hundred. So you will cancel two zeros with zeros. Two with ten. Five it would be and five five zero. So total compound interest will be thousand plus. Five fifty, which is fifteen fifty. Fifteen fifty 
rupees. So they are saying would this interest be more than the interest he would get if it was compounded annually. So when uh, compounded half yearly the interest would be more. Because you have seen last case we had 1576.25 and in this case we have 1550. So in which case we are getting more We are getting interest more in uh, case of compounded half yearly not in annual so but last we have to compare the two values so that we can know that in which case we have interest in half yearly or annual so we have to compare